Hey everyone, this is Michael with Cult of Mac here, and today I have a first look for you at iOS 6 running on the iPhone 4S. Now this is a beta, so it's only available to developers, uh, so most of you won't be able to download it, but here's just a little feature preview uh, if you want to see what it's like before it comes out. So first of all, you might notice a couple different changes here, uh, most notably the Maps application. Uh, it's been completely redone, and it's now built on Apple's own custom mapping interface. So you can see here we have a map, and uh, if we pinch to zoom in, you can tell that it looks a lot different already. Uh, there's a lot of changes and a lot of... Yeah, the, the maps basically look different because they're no longer based on Google Maps. So let's go to New York, for example, to see what the new maps really look like. Uh, if we switch over here to satellite and bring it back, it'll reload in a new satellite view. And we can zoom in here and zoom in. Uh, but now if we switch over to 3D view, which is the new view, you'll see the new maps in 3D, and this is really actually pretty remarkable. Uh, you can see maps just as they would look in 3D. And this isn't the best example here, and the connection's a little bit slow, so it's hard to tell. Uh, but you can really pan around here. Looking at something like Apple's headquarters here is a little bit more remarkable. You can really see the detail uh, around the buildings, and just how everything is in 3D, and it looks really great. There's a ton of detail. Uh, and it's very nice. So that's pretty much the Maps application. Now we also have this new app called Passbook. And Passbook I haven't really set up yet or played with around, but basically you can store all different types of things in your Passbook. So like it says, boarding passes, tickets, store cards, and coupons. Uh, so it doesn't really let you do anything yet, and there's nothing you can do with the application. Uh, so it's not really functional at this point, but it will be in the future. And you can kind of get an idea of what it might be like. If you go into settings here, you can see that uh, the title bars here are a slightly different blue color and the status bar is also blue. Uh, so there's some uh, user interface tweaks like that that are seen around the OS. If we happen to Safari here, we can also see the same thing. It's a slightly different user interface. Uh, now there's a also a full screen mode. So if we switch on a landscape, we can hit this button here and go full screen. Now Siri has also received some tweaks. So now, for example, I can say, What was the score on the last Giants game? The Giants were bested by the Rangers yesterday. The final score was 5 to 0. So something like that, you know, it's just a lot of different tweaks with Siri, and I'll have another video coming up soon that'll have more in-depth look at Siri and also with it on the iPad. So that's the kind of the tweaks to Siri. There's also Facebook integration. So what I'm going to do here quick is take a quick snapshot with the camera app here and you can see the camera interface has been redesigned as well and now if I go into photos I'm going to go into the camera roll and select here and now you'll see this new sharing menu and I'll hit Facebook and what I'll be able to do from here is log into Facebook and I'm not going to do that at this point but I can log into Facebook and share it from there and you can see how the menu would look. Photo stream can also be shared now so if I hit the share button once again and I select photo stream you can see that I can share this photo stream with somebody I can make this a public website and I can put in a name like that and I can share the photo stream. Weather has also been redesigned. You can see it looks slightly different now. It's a little bit cleaner and the interface is a little bit nicer. Game Center has also been slightly changed around a little bit. It looks a little bit different. You have a couple more tabs down here. Uh, not only do you have friends in games now, you also have challenges. I don't have any challenges set up. I haven't really quite looked into that yet, uh, but you'll be able to do challenges uh, between different players. Another th new thing Apple is touting is redesigns to the App Store as well as the iTunes Store. So if we go into App Store here, you can see that there's a black user interface now. It looks a little bit different. Uh, the content is mostly the same, uh, but things like things like the title bar and the navigation is slightly changed around, and you can see that it has a new black interface. Another thing I noticed within the phone app, the dialer is different. It's now white, so just a little tweak, but something interesting. Mail now has this VIP feature, and if I go into here, I can add a VIP. Now, unfortunately, if I show you how that process works, I'll have to reveal all my contacts, so I'm not going to show you that. But basically, you just select items from your contacts list to make VIPs uh, so that you can identify important people. The music app now looks a lot like it does in the iPad with that white user interface. A lot of people don't necessarily like it. Uh, but it does look a little bit nicer in my opinion, and it's something different from the stock interface we've always seen. Songs also look a little bit different. You have a new volume slider down here, and the pause and fast forward skip controls are a little bit different. Uh, the album art is still in the same place, but everything looks a little bit cleaner, a little bit different. You can also do airplay from here, 
as well as rate songs, just like you normally would be able to. There's also a couple new features that I really can't show you here, mainly FaceTime over 3G, as well as a couple of different enhancements to the phone app. And I can't really show you because I don't have a person that I can call right offhand or FaceTime uh, that I can show you these new features with. But if you go to Apple's website, you can look at some of the screenshots they have there and kind of get an idea of what the new features are. Another thing I forgot to mention in Safari is that there's iCloud tabs now. So if I go into here and I uh, select iCloud tabs, I can see all the tabs I have open on my iMac. And when I do open a new tab, it takes a little while, uh, but it does show up after a few seconds once you open up the tab on a computer. And you'll see it as well as show up on the iPhone that you can open up the tab from there too. So if I just close Safari and I go back into it, and I go under iCloud tabs. You can see here now that iCloud has popped up that I have that open as well. There's also some increased accessibility features. So if I go into settings here and I go under general and accessibility, I have some more support for hearing aids as well as guided access. There's a lot of stuff here and I'll take a separate video to go through all of this. Uh, but for right now, you can just see there's a ton of new features. Uh, if I turn on guided access, there's a lot of stuff I can do here. I can restrict, yeah, parts of the screen, I can enable screen sleep, setting passcode, all different kinds of stuff. I'll have a separate video dedicated just to that. So that's about all that I've found just for right now, uh, but if you see anything that I missed or anything like that, make sure to leave a comment about it. This is just kind of a first look at iOS 6 beta. This is Michael with Call to Mac. Thank you for watching.